Hey everyone, Chaps here. This is a planer, more specifically the DeWalt DW735X. And this is a shop vac, but sadly this hose doesn't properly fit onto the exhaust port of the planer. It's not an issue with the hose, it's a standard 2.5 inch hose, but it's also not an issue with the planer. In this video I wanted to give a quick look at why it doesn't work and a potential solution. Let's start with why it doesn't work. Well, quite simply, a planer like this is designed to be used with a true dust collection system. Yeah, you know, those large tank looking units that sit in the corner, they work by pulling a ton of air through them. Those work by having low pressure but high volumes of airflow. Shop vacs, on the other hand, are lower volume but much higher pressure. Shop vacs are great for some tools, mainly the ones that put out a small to moderate amount of sawdust. Compare that to this planer, and yeah, this puts out some serious sawdust. Couple that with the fact that this planer has an active blower system on it to push the sawdust, so yeah, it clearly wasn't meant to be used with a shop vac, hence the nozzle's not aligning properly. If you instead had a 4 inch hose, like what you commonly see on a true dust extractor, then you'd have no issue attaching it here. But let's say you're like me, and you don't have a fancy dust extractor. Based on this earlier clip, you obviously need something, this planer just makes a mess if there's nothing there. Well, my solution was just to 3D print an elbow adapter that also changes the exhaust diameter. Here's the model I made. You can see there's a slight taper here so that fits snugly onto the planar output port. It then transitions to a slightly smaller diameter, takes a 90 degree turn, and then feeds out to the shop vac side. And yes, that side is tapered slightly as well just for that nice snug fit. You may be asking why I have this huge block here on the corner. Well, that's primarily for printability. Most printers will want supports for anything beyond about 45 degrees. When printing a 90 degree tube, the only way to avoid supports is to print it at an angle like this. Sure, this block could be trimmed back a bit, but I like it, and it provides a nice grippy surface. I also went a bit overboard with the wall thickness, but hey, I want this thing to last and be super durable. So with it all printed up, we can slide it onto the planer, and then slide in the shop vac hose. Now you're all set, but there's a few things I should mention first. For starters, this planer has an active blower system. Because of that, it's going to be forcing air into your shop vac. It's actually quite nice as now you don't even need to turn on the shop vac in order to run this. It's basically just acting as a big filtered collector for you. But that said, it's probably blowing more air into your vacuum than your vacuum typically pulls. So just be warned that there may be some complications due to that, especially if you have a bag in your shop vac. The other comment is that this can fill even a large shop vac up pretty quickly. If you plan to do a lot of planing, this probably isn't the best solution for you. You'll want to either look at A, just getting a true dust collector, in which case you don't really need this adapter, B, running the output to a collection bin or bag, in which case you also don't need this adapter, or C, using a cyclonic separator to catch the dust first. And that's what I did. I've got my handy dust stopper over here, and this catches about 99% of the sawdust. I don't even need to connect the output to my shop vac most of the time. If you want to see a full review of that dust stopper, just click the link down in the description. While you're down there, you'll also see links to the adapter. I'll add links to Prusa Prints and Thingiverse so you can get the model for free and print it yourself. This is designed to be printed with no support, so it should be pretty easy. I'll also try to include the actual CAD file from Fusion 360 in case you want to make any modifications. If you found this helpful, please consider hitting that like button and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll catch you next time.